Thanks for watching. If you think this video was interesting to you, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This way you will be up to date with my new and equally interesting videos. Thanks for purchasing your Mi 007 Smart Charger from Divine Eagle. This full 1080p high lens resolution camera records in 1920 by 1080p video resolution and is capable of recording using a motion detection setting or the loop recording function which will record a continuous loop of video that's 8 hours of 1080p video recording. Inside the box you'll have the MEU007 camera itself, a micro USB and lightning USB cable in one, a USB cable for transferring data from the camera to the computer, a small USB memory card reader, and a small sticker that can be used as a cover for the back of the charger to hide the memory card slot and the switches. You also have a little poker that's useful for poking the tiny hole on the back panel to reset the camera. And finally, you have a user manual to help you work the camera. On the back, you have a switch labeled M and L. When it's set for M, the camera will record in motion detection mode. If it's set to L, it will record in a continuous lure. When you switch the switch on the back to the L position, it records in a loop. The red light will flash three times here, indicating that it will start recording automatically in a continuous loop. No lights will be shown during this recording, and the video will be recorded as a series of three minute video files. When you switch it to M, your charger is now going to record motion. The blue light on the back flashes three times once it's plugged into the outlet to indicate that it's ready to record in motion detection mode. The camera will automatically record whenever the sensor detects motion in front of it, and the video will also be recorded as a series of three minute video files. Please note that in both the L and M setting, when your smart charger has reached its maximum memory capacity, which is approximately 8 hours of recording on a 32 gig card, it will automatically record over the earliest video files in a sort of looping video mode. The smart charger only supports up to 32 gigabyte cards and we recommend a speed class of no less than 10 for optimal functionality. You'll find a small sticker in the box that can actually cover up the switch, reset button, and memory card slot here behind the camera. And you don't need to even pull it off to retrieve your recorded footage. You simply plug the camera into your computer via a USB cable for that. On the camera itself, you want to remove the protective film from the front of the lens so your picture will look its best. The camera begins recording the moment that it's plugged into an outlet. And keep in mind that it records no sound as US law prohibits the sale, owning, and use of hidden voice recording devices. Connecting the camera to the computer is as easy as it can be. Once you plug the camera into your computer via the USB cable that's included in your box, you'll receive a pop-up icon on your monitor asking you what would you like to do with this removable disk or something similar. It's sort of like when you put in a flash drive into your computer. A blue light will then show up on the camera indicating that it's now ready to transfer files. You can then easily copy, cut, paste, or even delete files or format the entire card's files completely. Please note, however, that if the computer does not recognize the smart charger or if the removable disk is not detected after 30 seconds, please simply reconnect the device to see if your computer recognizes it on the second try or try a different USB port altogether. Make sure you're using VLC Movie Player on your computer. It's the player that we highly recommend if videos are failing to play properly. It's available for free on their site, videolan.org slash VLC. That's video L-A-N, not L-A-N-D, by the way. That wraps up this video. We hope that you now know how to utilize your new smart charger camera to its fullest. Again, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us through the Amazon Message Center. Thanks again.